Hey, Bruce, great hey, to have you back. Kevin, always good to be here. So you heard the dilemma, right? Yeah. Tommy built the table. I promised him I'd get it finished. Yep. But I don't want him yelling at me later today. Great so. looking table. Hey, listen, don't feel alone. A lot of woodworkers, they can make a dovetail joint, but they panic when it comes Perfect. to staining and finishing. So let's so. talk about finishing this one. Yeah, yeah. We got some tips and techniques here. They're going to apply to anything, whether it's unfinished furniture or something you made yourself. Okay. All right. First thing we got to talk about is wood preparation. Mm -hmm. We got to get the wood ready for the stain and the finish. First thing we're going to do is a light sanding. Now, I always sand in the direction of the grain of the wood. Yeah. I like starting with about a 120 grit. Yeah. Maybe working up to 150, 180. You're doing it by hand. Yeah, you know what? First of all, belt sanders. Too aggressive. Hey, they get you in trouble, okay. right? Palm sanders, they're okay on a large project. But you know what? You've always got your hand, Perfect. your hand sanding, you got total control. Then. So maybe 120 up to 150 or 180. Yeah, 180. All nice. right. Second thing you have to recognize is wood's unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Those big pores can turn blotchy on you. Yeah. We don't want that to happen. So we're going to put on a coat of wood conditioner. Conditioner. On huh? Conditioner. This is going to help reduce the blotchiness. Now, does it matter what species of wood we're working no, with? No, but especially good on the, especially important on the soft woods like fir, pine, spruce. Sure. But even on your hardwoods, it'll make a big difference. So just lay it on. I'll show you what happens. I took a board here. So we've got a little bit of conditioner on this side, is that right? And yep. none on this side over here? Well, let's see what happens when we put the stain on. I'm going to rub the stain on with a rag real quickly here, just oh, for wow. our demonstration. Yeah. And you can see that our top portion, closest to us, nice and even. And look at the blotchiness. Look at the blotchiness we're getting here. down there. Yep. That is tremendous. Right. We don't okay. want that to happen to your table. So we're going to. So once I put the conditioner on, yep. how long until I can put the stain down? Wait, 15 minutes, but no more than two hours. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. All right. All right. So we've got uh, the table right here. Right. The conditioner is on. Conditioner is on there. Now it's time to put on our stain. Let's talk about technique right. for that. Now, yeah, nice thing about stain is you can put it on any way you want. With a rag, with a brush, even with an aerosol can. I like it. We're going to use gun stock because this is going to bring out the grain of the wood, but it's not going to hide it. You know, we don't want to paint something as beautiful as this. Gun stock being the color you've chosen. Exactly, yeah. Right. And you've got lots of colors to choose from. And you just, we're going to brush this on. And as you can tell, neatness isn't so important at this point in the Certainly process. Isn't. All right. Yeah, well, we just want to get this covered on. up. Okay. Well, the most important part of staining is wiping off any stain that the wood doesn't absorb. So get rid of all this all excess. All this, right? Yeah. This is not a finish. This is just the stain. It needs to dry in the wood, not on top of the wood. Okay. So, and so once we've gotten this all off, um, obviously the longer we keep it on, the darker, the quicker we take it off, the lighter. Yes. Yep. Once we've gotten it all off, we want to talk about protecting this. Right. Stain adds color, but doesn't add protection. Yep. But now we're going to have to let this dry, first of all. So mm, how long are we going to let it dry? Well, typically you'd say eight hours with oil-based. Yeah. Uh, if the humidity is high or the temperature is low, a little bit longer, to be safe, sometimes I say wait overnight. I don't have overnight or eight hours, okay. so All we right. have taken the liberty, actually. Uh, okay. If you'll move that one for me, okay. Bruce. Right. Built the second table that we had you stain earlier. Yep. I this remember is, so this. It's going to be here any minute. So yep. now that this is dry, mm -hmm. what do you think about for finishing? All right. All right. Like I say, stain adds color for protection, polyurethane. Okay. Can't beat it. Now, first thing is, don't shake it. Don't. You always want to stir figure eight pattern. You want to mix the ingredients, but we don't want to create bubbles. Ah, and shaking will do the bubbles. Exactly. Okay. Second thing is pick a good brush. You know, people gravitate toward these, you know, these throwaways. Well, they're these, like they're 25 brushes. cents each. They're exactly. Cheap. Yeah. And you get what you pay for. You don't want right? this. No, because inside here we have air bubbles. Okay. We don't want air bubbles in our finish. And also it's blunt. It's not going to lay down a nice coat of finish like real bristles. Will. All right. Okay. Other thing is just dip about a half an inch into your polyurethane, mm -hmm. come over to the wood, and now neatness does count. We want to work in the direction of the grain of the wood, yep. brushing it back and forth, using those bristles to really work it in. So I'm, I, I, the, the odor here mm -hmm. leads me to believe that this is oil? This is oil-based. We used an oil-based wood conditioner, an oil-based stain, an oil-based finish. Yeah. And if I wanted to use water-based? Certainly could, but you, once you start with, oil, well, with water, finish with water, ah. start with oil, finish with oil. Perfect. And speaking of finishing, last thing is take the tips of your bristles, very gently pull it along the board. That's the final stroke there. Exactly. This is going to even it out, yep. break any bubbles, give you that nice, smooth, professional finish. And how many coats, how long to dry? Two coats. Usually eight hours to be safe again, let it dry overnight. 
Then give it a light sanding with 220 grit sandpaper, mm -hmm. wipe off the dust, second coat, you're all done. Perfect. Wait till Mr. Silva sees this. Oh, here he is. Hey. Tommy, I brought out the big guns to get hey, the table Bruce. finished Good for us. Good to see you again. Nice job on Thank the finish. You. This is a very nice job, isn't it? Thank you, Bruce. So until next time, I'm Kevin O'Connor. And I'm Tom Silva. For Ask This Old House. So Bruce must have done this, right? Well, I can't deny it. I did watch him, though. <laughs> yeah, were you good at that? <laughs>